four. Okay, so Andrew, you know you got um, D5. But he wants some sound. Oh, I need to change the name, I guess. Yeah, so like when you're doing the packages, like an OCSOT. Oh. The Red Sox get ready for the start of interleague Former basketball player Jason Williams will remain out of jail after a judge denied the prosecutor's motion to revoke bail. I believe in accountability, accessibility, you know, accessibility after games, being there talking to reporters. If I made an error in the ninth inning, I expect somebody to write about it. I expect not to be upset that they wrote about it. Uh, it was a great experience. I loved every minute of it. All the classes, just everything that the classes offered was just extremely helpful and, uh, and really helped me to progress how I want to go about my career. All right. Come on, Andrew, stay with me. 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 Andrew, stay to us for so when we um, go into the field and I would also say that I know what direction in journalism I want to go into now because of the Sports Institute so the guidance is there in terms of step-by-step -step instruction and helping you pick a career path uh, down the road. All right, so what are we trying to do here? Your voiceovers, your voiceovers are read especially the highlight voiceovers, the, not necessarily Wimbledon but you know the College World Series, um, you know you've got a couple of there's a real uh, diversity of classes, of um, skills that we learned. Uh, the speakers were great, multimedia, a lot of skills that you really need to know uh, for the future, sort of, in journalism. I started off with the cold open, and then to Lowe's, and then you with the U.S. Open. I've learned a lot at the Sports Institute. I had no broadcast experience coming in here, and now I have a good handle on what goes into creating a show. It definitely was, especially coming from a school without a whole lot of journalism. It was great to get some formal instruction, and it was a great experience. And then you into the break. Yeah, and we started. We had a guy like Richard Jefferson, and I was just looking it up. He's played in every game in the last two seasons. Only he and Kobe Bryant alone. Are like the only I, in two four players. weeks, I learned more than I would learn in a semester, probably. Knowledge in, 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 in every field that we touched here, um, sports reporting, uh, interview techniques, how to make your writing fresh, how to um, ask good questions. Yeah, but at what point do they call the play dead? I think it's just they get one bag. Yeah. Yeah. Is it one or if the ball goes in the stands, I think the trip to ESPN dead. was awesome. I mean, it's something that most people can't do because it's just for, um, you know, t obviously it's tours, but it's just for groups. That's what I was looking for. And we, we saw a lot of people. We saw Jeremy Schaff. We saw Bob Lee. We got our picture um, taken with Hannah Storm. And we got to sit, sit on an anchor set. I mean, it's really cool to see how, you know, the world's leading, you know, sports television station, you know, rolls out their shows each day. So I thought that was really interesting. I think that the Sports Institute has made me a well-rounded person and uh, I can pretty much do whatever I want right now. They should definitely come here, and it was um, it was a great program, and I learned a lot, and I met met lots of people. They should definitely do it. It was the best decision I could have made. It was it was a lot better than getting a job. If you want to learn about sports journalism, come. You're going to learn a lot, and it's kind of a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. Okay. That does it for Sports Night. I'm Matt Fox, and I'm Kelly Morgan. Tune in next Tuesday for all your sports news.